be great. Come on, get your friends. We're going to create some distant lands. Mean the sky and no one edge. The fun will never end. It is be great. Hey, hey, hey. It is time for another wonderful episode of Speak Rate. And this is episode 25 to be exact. That's like a lot of episodes. Um, if, if Speak Rate was like a person, we would have a huge party now with a bunch of people. We would be drinking uh, alcohol and stuff. It would be sweet. Too bad it's just a web series. It's not even a web series. It's like, what is it called? A creating podcast. Uh, creating podcast. That's a uh, weird. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, this is quite. I'm not used to doing it this speed. I published an episode this Friday, and I'm publishing an episode now, so I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it's it's like I don't have anything new to talk about. It's just yeah, exactly. It's just silence. Um, but I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, you guys just just chill out. It'll be fine, completely fine. In this episode, I abandoned the gameplay for once. Yeah, I have been doing gameplay for the latest. How many episodes is there? Hmm. Well, a lot of episodes, like eight maybe, or seven or whatever. I've done gameplay most episodes anyway. Um, <clears throat> so it's it's kind of nice to like uh, whatever gameplay I don't need right now and. Uh, do some scenery and some level panning or whatever. I have quite a bit of gameplay right now and still need more, lots more. Uh, especially like, you know, gameplay that just introduces concepts um, are really important. That's 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 oft often easier for me. I have this idea for a concept uh, or specific feature and then it's really hard for me to do it because uh, I only have advanced gameplay things with them. I don't have anything obvious and when I do think of something obvious, I'd think, oh god, that's so obvious, I don't want to create that. Uh, so I just go back and forth with myself, trying to come up with a solution that's fun to play and also very, very simple, just introducing the concept. Because a concept intro introduction should be fun too, not just introduction. Anyway, in this episode, I make the tea, tea machine, yes indeed. Um, you may have seen the sketches already, but uh, if you haven't, I didn't comment on them last time. Um, I promised sketches in the latest week's episode, so episode 23. Uh, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna post on sketches, and then I never posted some sketches. And then, uh, oh dear, I'm not entirely sure if I can say this. Um, here we go. L1, N3, R1, D3, R. That guy. Also known as, I'm going to try and say it, Lin Line Rider. Oh, Line Rider. Well, that's a stupid name. You're a. St no, just kidding. That's not a stupid name. Although, I'm not, not a big fan of the numbers, but I'm not judging you, am I? Or maybe I am. Whatever. Um, wonderful name, wonderful name. No judging. Um, it's a wonderful comment made. Oh, he told me, hey, where's the sketches, man? I was like, well, I promised sketches. So, I uploaded the sketches, and there are no sketches. Did I mention there were sketches? Yeah. Good. Um, so thanks, dude. Totally awesome. So uh, if you didn't see it in the last, I linked it in the last episode's description. But if you didn't see that, there are now sketches of the of um, of the leveling progress. Me, I made them back in April, so they're very old. Um, but some of the features are still there. So, you know, the the basic planning is there. Not the gameplay, but the planning. The team machine that I am making right now is there. Um, basic idea is this, one, you enter the level, um, two, you have a check to see if there are two players, that, that's the brown area, just the level sees if you are, meh. the level will see if you are enough players, and if you are, then you will get to um, proceed. Um, next thing that happens is that um, uh, Princess Tove is having a wonderful tea party, and she's like, woo, tea party, and uh, what happens then? Oh yeah, she's like, you just totally have a cap of D because you're so wonderful. And you're like, alright. So you and your friend press the button to activate the tea machine, which will be shown later. Um, the tea machine is not working because it doesn't have any tea. So uh, Princess Tuve sends you away on a mission to get tea in the 
land uh, bra box game kingdom. It's a very lame story. I'm very very well aware of that, but lame stories are wonderful. <laughs> I'll make a good story some other time, I promise. Uh, a stupid awesome good story that's very stupid. I'm looking forward to that one, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but today in this one of the episode and probably in the forthcoming hundred episodes. <laughs> Um, wait, that's like. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna calculate how many more episodes there will be. Let's say, oh man, my math skills aren't so good in the summer. I mean, I haven't haven't done any calculation in like two months now. Hmm. Oh well. Um. Let's see. Each speak rate episode is uh, I create for about two hours right now in each episode. Um. Assuming that the level would take about hmm, how many hours will it take? That is actually an interesting question, as, well, I usually don't time myself, so it'll be very interesting to see how long it actually takes. I usually go for, I assume it's about 100 hours or 20 hours or whatever, it's very hard to tell. Like, you're lost in creation and then you create some and then it's done. And at other times you're lost in creation and then create some and then it's not done forever. You create for several months and you go mad. <laughs> but not this time now. Um, anyway, I'm going to assume that it's going to take 100 hours um, because uh, this is kind of a serious project. Project I'm really trying here. Um, for one thing, I'm going to try to make a cool art style going, and I will also have uh, secrets that I will try to make really interesting and fun to to have there. And I will also have uh, gameplay that is fun. I am, yeah. So uh, I'm going to go for a hundred hours just to give me a bit of time. I'll probably end up with two hours, hours but we'll see. <laughs> and that, according to my calculations, uh, gives us uh, 50 episodes in total. Total, total, total. But uh, um, considering uh, meh, what I'm trying to say here, there will be 41 more episodes anyway. Don't ask me how I did that logic, I just did it, and I'm awesome. There will be a lot more episodes. Um, and if we take that piece of logic and um, assume that I will be posting one episode per week for these, uh, for these next 41 episodes, we can calculate that the level will be done in May next year. <laughs> oh, the joy of creating on something only one only two hours per week. This will be a, <laughs> a very long and wonderful project. So at least I want to wear, my, wear myself out doing it. And so yeah, guys, how does that feel? May next year. <laughs> That's when this will be done. Uh, I do hope I am bad at math because I, I was hoping I would get this done like by Christmas or something. Um, but May next year, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? Oh man, my math skills must be really bad if I got that result. I hope so anyway. Anyway, I was talking about... First I was going to talk about this wonderful machine I'm making here, and then I went to talk about the sketches, and then from there I went to talk about how long it would take, I don't know... Back to whatever I was talking about. The sketches. I made some sketches back in April, and they are old sketches, but most of the planning is there. Um... You get in, you talk to the tea bot you realize the tea is out, the Tuve sends you out on a mission to get more tea, and that's when the level starts. Well, the level started before, but it's that's when the gameplay starts. <laughs> um, and that's the basic it means Moska. Yeah. Was it was Oh yeah. And then you Traverse the tea tea party garden. Yes, it is indeed a tea party garden. I will have like I'm going to try and make a, no, that, I'll take that later. Anyway, you traverse the tea party garden for a while and then you uh, Go through a path out of the tea party garden and uh, then you like in the wilderness or something I'm not entirely sure but in in wild lands that are wild and then you get to the box guy in kingdom and I will be talking about that more later. I'm not even sure if I will feature it, but the box gun kingdom. And then you get to the tea shop, and that's where you are rewarded greatly if you have found the tea sorts. I'm not still sure how the reward player for finding all of the 
sneaky secrets, but it's gotta be something really awesome. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, well, there was something I was like, mm, I'm gonna talk about it later. For three seconds ago. Hmm. Um, oh god damn it, my memory. <laughs> I get so all messed up during summertime. I don't have to think too much, so so I just forget about everything. Oh well. Speaking, uh, I don't feel like speaking. Uh, I need to drink some cola. Beer, beer, I'll blast. I have made some good progress. The the robot is pretty much done, so I am making the background. Um, I'm not entirely sure what kind of style I'm going with here. Um, you the blah, the other day I had like a random chat with uh, with Tenzon, and he was like, "Dude, you should try new things. You can't just go in the same tracks." That was my me doing Tendon's voice. I'm not sure how, how good my impression were. And I was like, oh man, you, you're probably right, dude. Because uh, all of my levels have seen Rion Grid and all my levels are platformers and all my levels are have the same kind, of, same kind of storytelling and stuff. So why not try and evolve? I won't be doing that in this level, but I can uh, begin by uh, throwing away that corner editing, editing tool a bit. So, yeah, I try to constantly tell myself not to corner edit everything, but no wait, not corner edit, it's grid, throw away that grid tool. I love the grid tool very much, there was actually a time where I did not like the grid tool, it was like, I, I like, yeah, <laughs> I told people, dude, the grid tool isn't that good. And they were like, yeah, dude, it's totally good. Um, I would, it was at a time when Online Crate first released. And um, so it was the first time people really got to um, merge their their crate crate butterness, um, and I did have had never ever used the grid. So creating with others who had used the grid before and actually loved it was very interesting. Uh, there was Tin Cup um, Tin Cup Seventeen or is it Seventy Seventy? 
Seven, ten, seventy, seventy. Silly me. Team Cap seventy. If I remember correctly, and it was Amazing Flying Poo, and it was Bloodhound, and there was a bit DS Ginox also. All right, I'm not sure if you know any of these names, but I know, and it was, it was totally fun. And then Isaac and that stuff. Oh, whatever. I'll stop talking about it. But anyway, and people used Glit Read, and I was like, "Whoa, what's the grid for? That's that stupid, guys." And they were like, "No, man, it's cool, man." Yeah, it's cool, man. It's totally cool. I was like, no, it's not cool. And eventually, I started using the grid myself, admittedly, um, and uh, found out it was pretty awesome. But now I'm a bit tangled up in the grid. Maybe I should just step down a little bit. So I'll try a little shot. Um, well, this this episode has gone by quite fast for me. I thought it would be a loss for words, but here we go. A lot of words coming out. Um, Stick Ricks, that level I'm making, may or may not come out next week. I will try my best to get it out next week. Um, if I create like a lot on it, then I will probably get it out next week. So we'll see how it goes. Um, that is pretty much all. I will end the episode with uh, a showcase of uh, what I have created today. And let me know if you have any feedback or what you thought or whateverness, and uh, I will totally take it all in. And thank you for watching this uh, 25th episode of Speak Rate. I will see you next Sunday. No, no extra episode this week, and we'll be busy with Sticky Rick. Sorry. Um, that will be all. Bye.